what is going on everyone it is angry gamer online and today i'm going to compare two more cars in gta online and today we've got the phoenix and the blade these two cars are in the muscle car category the phoenix has been in the game since day one and the blade the blade came in the i am not a hipster dlc now both these cars are both pretty mad if you look at them the phoenix with its giant spoiler and the blade with the uh, exhaust sticking out the bonnet, I think. I think they're exhaust, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, first off, we are going into a drag race. Obviously, you want some straight line speed in a muscle car, and immediately the Blade takes a massive head start. Apparently, the Blade didn't even get the turbo boost here. However, it seems to just pull away almost effortlessly. Now, I think this car uh, is much more powerful, the Blade, and uh, I don't think it has quite as high top speed, though, because the Phoenix does begin to reel it in later on into the race. Now, unfortunately, it just the race just isn't long enough for the Phoenix to catch up at all, and the Blade does win this one. However, at the moment, it still is accelerating away a little bit. However, towards the end, we do start catching up a little bit. And, yeah, there we go. That's that race over. Now, the Blade did it in 31.822 se seconds, and the Phoenix in 32.952. Now, these, are, these times are about a second difference, so you might not think that's too much, but in a straight-line drag race that's only 0.8 of a mile... That is a huge difference. Like, the blade is so much faster over that distance. It's ridiculous. And now we are going into a proper race around my track, Observatory Rush. Now, as this test starts in a second, I think we did have a little bit of a problem getting it started, but it's done it now. And as you can see, immediately the blade surges into a lead as I'm, like, faffing around with the, uh, the stereo in the car trying to shut it up. But as you can see on this first section, it's flat out. So obviously the blade takes a pretty big head start. However, as we go into the first corner, the Phoenix does catch up a little bit. However, it's not going to catch up, catch up that much because the, as we come out the corner, the blade can accelerate away again. Now, on this first section of the course, the blade does win does win this first section by quite a long way. It's miles ahead by the halfway mark. Now, that's just because this first section doesn't have many tight corners. This first section is mainly uh, flat out straights and a couple of winding bends. Now, the Phoenix isn't so good on winding bends because it's so tail happy. It can be quite hard to control sometimes, whereas the blade is a little bit more poised. It's a little bit easier to handle. Now, here I do spin off a little bit. I end up on the grass, and I do knock over them signs. However, we do manage to catch up later on in the race. We cut this corner nicely. Now, the blade at, the blade at this point is miles ahead. It is ridiculous how far ahead it is. But as I've said, that's just because of the straight line nature of the uh, course at the moment. However, we do have to break here. We do end up in a little bit of a slide. However, that was, I'd say, the fastest way around that corner to try and drift around in this car. Because if we were to try and go around any of these corners sort of uh, in real control in this car, we'd have to go down to a really low speed. So once again, we're going to cut this corner a lot just to try and catch up a little bit more. Now, the blade takes a little bit more of a lead. It extends its lead up this hill because I think it is slightly more powerful than the Phoenix. However, on this corner, the blade does have to slow down to a slightly lower speed than the Phoenix because we can just drift out the back end a little bit. We didn't do it so much there, but we can drift out the back end a little bit. And now up this hill, we um, we do kick out the back end quite a lot there, just because I thought I was going to go off the track, so I thought I might as well kick it out, see if we can slow down. Now, as you saw there, the blade went off, because the blade doesn't like to turn that well. It's not that easy to turn. You've really got to throw it into the corners, really slow down. And now he spins off right there, the blade. Unfortunately, because it's non-contact racer, we managed to get through there and win the race so in this race the phoenix did it in two minutes 0 0.880 and the blade in two minutes 2.965 so this just shows you that the phoenix is about two seconds a lap faster and it's a lot easier to handle we didn't have any uh, major catastrophes spinning off or anything however the blade did have one right at the end as you saw he ran very very wide and now we're on to a pushing war this is just a test of power and grip two very important things in a car and this was really surprising. I thought the Blade was going to win this quite easily. However, the Phoenix seems to win and win quite well. Now, I thought that um, that F620 was going to help out there. However, it didn't. And that Mini Cooper hit me a little bit, but oh well. As you can see, we are winning this quite easily. Quite convincingly, the Phoenix has won this. I was really surprised by this because the Phoenix isn't very grippy. And I thought the Blade was more powerful. So, yeah, that was one real big surprise. Also, both these cars are two-wheel drive. So, we're not getting anything too spectacular out of this. And now on to a very, very important test for these muscle cars. We want to see how well they can do donuts. And the Phoenix, I am glad to report, is absolutely fantastic at donuts. As you can see here, they are really uniform. They're in good shape. They're perfect circles. And as you can see, the car pivots around that sort of central 
front wheel there it's doing that really nicely it's in real control and I have to say the Phoenix is one of my uh, favorite cars for doing these donuts you don't even have to use the the handbrake at all it's literally a case of accelerating and turning it's really easy to do and here I'm just sort of uh, doing it for fun now because it's just it's brilliant and now we're gonna stop we're gonna get out and get into the blade and see what the blade can do from what I remember the blade isn't quite as good at donuts and unfortunately I can't even get into the car right now because the car is locked for me and I'm waiting for the driver to let me in so now well, we're nearly in so now I'm getting in and immediately you'll see the blade just cannot do these donuts at all it's not it can't turn at all really we knock that fence over we have a bit of a crash we glitch out and it just won't do the donuts it won't do uniform donuts at all it just loses all its speed it won't carry its angular momentum and uh, it's just the driver's really wrestling with it and he's crashed it and as you can see the blade is not the car for donuts at all it just can't do them it just really can't it's not tail happy enough and unfortunately we crash once again this if you want to do no do donuts do not buy this car get the phoenix but yeah i think any second now i get out because i'm sick of him trying to do donuts so yeah now i get out i'm sick of them donuts they're terrible and now we are going to go on to our fight this is just our final sort of here are the two cars again and yeah personally i prefer the stinger however schools does prefer the blade so it's up to you really both of these cars are pretty quick just depends sort of which one feels right for you so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if uh, if you did enjoy please do leave a like and uh, subscribe for more i've been angry gamer online and i will speak to you in a bit see ya